Let's get to Newsnight, which is in uh, relation to that story that we just ran. My guest is Dr. John Sekamate Sevuliba. He's the head of population and social sector planning at the National Planning Authority. Good evening, doctor. Good evening to you. Mm -hmm. Something baffles me, doctor. This, our country, has 48.9% of East Africa's arable land. Now, all the land in East Africa that is suitable for farming, half of it is here in Uganda. Correct. But we're talking about 1.8 million children that are stunted. We are talking about a country that has become food insecure. Mm -hmm. Why? That's ironical. It should not happen. Mm -hmm. Why is it happening? Well, it is a result of certain uh, constant failures that we have uh, experienced, but some of them are pure negligence, others are uh, historical, others have been uh, oversights here and there. But uh, as we, we are saying that we should now make a resolution as Uganda and say no more. Mm. Let's uh, resolve that we reverse this trend because mm. it is still reversible. How do we reverse that? I've had the talk about we are going to do things, we are going to try and improve for donkey's years, and I don't see the improvement. So what action needs to be taken? Well, uh, the, the workshop that we have just had where the Right Honorable Prime Minister was the guest of honor uh, gave me encouragement in that he pronounced government's commitment to, uh, to implement the, imp the recommendations that were made from the review. And some of these recommendations are really simple, you know, just reorganization, strength, strengthening enforcement, standards, you know, things like that. Uh, I think we've just been lax in many areas. Take a simple example of uh, people settling in uh, wetlands, cutting down forests. Those are things that have been happening and people are just being lax. So a number of those have, you know, added up to create this kind of huge problem that we now face. Sustainable development goal number two mm -hmm. uh, says we, sh we should eliminate hunger by 2030. Exactly. You mm -hmm. are the people who plan for this country, National Planning Authority, uh, Vision 2040 and all these different things, but mm -hmm. you're talking about a country that is food insecure. Mm -hmm. Are you failing at your job? Because you're supposed to be planning for this country, looking at everything that mm -hmm. we have, all the policies and so on. You pull them together mm -hmm. and then you plan. Uh, well, that's, uh, I don't blame you for saying that, but as the ref review uh, revealed that Uganda is not, does not have a shortage of policies, plans, or even laws, so there we are doing very well. The only area that we need, we need to really strengthen is implementation and what you may call enforcement. So when you say implementation and you say enforcement, mm -hmm. who is sleeping on their job? Who is dropping the ball? We need to call them out. You know, we <laughs> cannot have uh, an amorphous talk about, you know, mm -hmm. somebody is not implementing, somebody is not doing. Who, who is that person? Who are those people? Which mm -hmm. authorities, which mm -hmm. officials are failing on their job? We, we need to know who those are so that uh, Ugandans' mm -hmm. guns point at them. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that because some of them... Okay, you would say they are handicapped because of certain uh, institutional or structural handicaps. For example, there is uh, an issue of, of irrigation uptake. Um, you would say that common sense would dictate that if farmers don't have water for their, I mean, if, if there is no rain for their crops, naturally they would go, they would opt for. Irrigation. The president has been trying to market mm -hmm. bottle irrigation. Does yeah. that work in 2017? Uh, but, okay, before I uh, go into that, the issue is that uh, where is the mandate for irrigation? Because uh, now part of the, the, the issue is Minister of Agriculture has mandate for agriculture and promoting agriculture, supporting farmers and so on. Minister of Water has the mandate to provide water for, for, for production. So just that small administrative hitch may hold up a lot of uh, progress in uh, implementing programs. So um, this is what we have been bringing up uh, to the executive to say, okay, there are a few uh, administrative hitches which need to be ironed out. And as I, uh, I said earlier, I've been encouraged by the Prime Minister's response that there is a commitment to iron out all these 
administrative hitches. All right. We hope mm. that encouragement will be resultant into action. There's been a lot of talk, Dr. Sekamati, in this country. Talk, I, ag talk, I agree talk, with talk. you. <laughs> we talk about talking and plan about planning, and we plan to plan, and here we are. But anyhow, let's hold these people responsible. You say he has promised. Yeah. I hope you will hold him accountable. Uh, yeah, eventually we shall. All of us will hold him accountable. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Sekamati, for talking to us on Newsnight. Thank you very much. And that was Newsnight.